Hello my peeps. This Algebra Nation video will cover workbook page 69 and part of page 70. So here we're going to start finding the equations of log. To find them, you need either two points or one point and one slope. Again, you need either two points or a point and a slope. And also, there's going to be different ways to write the same equation of a line. You need to know three ways. Point slope form, slope intercept form, and standard form. And you'll notice the way they write these on the answer choices is the way you're going to, of course, pick it out. So we have, again, two of these will be on your reference sheet, and the third one you have to realize is when the x and y are on the same side, and it equals another constant c. So we have, of course, our good old standard y equals m x plus b, and then point slope form, y minus y1, m x minus x1. So let's say you're asked to write the equation of a line that has a slope and passes through the given point. Well, in this case, whenever I see a point and a slope, I like to use point slope form because they gave it all to me. So in this case, I would have y minus y1 equals m x minus x1, where m is my slope, and I have my point x1 y1 minus my y coordinate equals m x minus my x coordinate and minus a negative means you would add. And if they just wanted you to write the equation of the line, this is the equation of the line. It happens to be in point slope form. Of course, if you think about it, are there other ways to go ahead and write the equation that you just found? either tell you which form they want, or you're going to go ahead and match it up to the correct answer choice. So in this case, I found the equation of the line. I'm done. What if they give you two points? So given a point and a slope, if you notice, I use point slope form. Given two points, you need to first find the slope, and then you can find the equation of the line. In this case, find the equation of the line that passes through the point 2, 3, and 5, 9. So remember, slope is change of y over change of x. It's prime over run. It's y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Where you pick your first and your second coordinate. And if it helps, label it. x1, y1. x2, y2. y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. You'll get 9 minus 3, which is 6, and 5 minus 2, which is 3. The slope of this line is 2. Once you have a slope, you can take the slope at any point and use, again, point slope form. So in this case, I'll take the first point, 2 comma 3, and do y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. y minus my y coordinate equals m x minus my x coordinate, and this is the equation of my line. But again, are there other ways to write the equation just found? Yes, we can use the other forms if we want to. We could have used the other point and got another equation for the line, but remember, they're actually all the same equation. If I would have gone ahead and done the other point, I would have y minus my y coordinate 9 equals my slope, x, minus my x coordinate. This is the same line. It is. Let me show you. It is the same exact equation, just written in a different form. I'm going to go ahead and distribute the two in both cases. So just go ahead and watch this. So I distributed 2 to every term in the parentheses. And then if I add 3 over, I'll get y equals 2x minus 1. If I add 9 over, I'll get y equals 2x minus 1. And now this is in slope intercept form. So either way, we're getting the same equation of a line, it's just in different forms. Now, of course, the other question I want to ask is do you have to start with that first equation that I used or you used? No. You could have gone ahead and used a different form. You could have used y equals mx plus b as another way. Here, remember the slope is 2. And I'm going to choose one of the points, I'll choose 5, 9, and I can plug it all in. Y is 9, M is 2, X is 
5, but now I need to find b. 9 equals 10 plus b. Track the 10 over, b equals negative 1. And now y equals mx plus b. And I got y equals 2x minus 1. Do make sure to go back and watch this again, okay? That was a lot of information. But really, again, all you need is a slope and a point. And if you get two points, find the slope, and then you have options on which way you want to find the line. So with that in mind, I want to give you a chance to try this next one out. Go ahead and pause the video. Ah, let's take a brain break. You can look like this guy when you score 399 or higher on the EOC. You can do the happy dance. on ice skates. Just this one, if you want to go ahead and do all three, go for it, but go ahead and pause now. If you notice on this page, it tells you what form they want. Again, it tells you what form they want, so we do need to be very specific in this question. So for the first one, find the equation of a line that goes to both points, and write your answer in point slope form. We have two points, what do we need first? The slope. Slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And again, if you need to, label your points. x1, y1, x2, y2. Slope is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. 6 minus 1 is 5. 3 minus a negative 2 would be 3 plus 2 is 5. And 5 divided by 5 equals 1. Now we do point slope 4. y minus my y coordinate equals m x minus my x coordinate. Does it matter which point I choose? No, they just want the answer in point so form. So pick the first point or the second point, it's up to you. I'll pick the, the second one. Y minus my y coordinate equals m x minus my x coordinate. If you got a different answer, post it on the wall. We can see how it's the same exact equation, just written in a different way.